Hi guys, it's Ray. Today we are going to do the other half of this piece of vinyl that we started on another tumbler. I'm going to show you how we use it for two different cups. So, this is the decal I'm going to use on this one. It's another book one. This one says I'm all booked. And I have my top and bottom pieces of vinyl where we used the sides for the last one. So what we are going to do is I'm going to work on a 30 ounce uh, skinny straight from Hog this time. And I'm going to grab a pair of scissors if I can find them. I'm going to cut this piece off. Nice and straight, right? And I'm going to lay this piece back on here further down than it started. So I do have some vinyl exposed. And I think I'm going to start at the top. But I want this to um, come fairly close to the top. And I'm just working right on a bare stainless on this one. So I'm going to make sure it's pretty well lined up. And it appears to be. wrap this section first. And then flip it over. And you see how the backing paper just slides right off nice and easy. And my top edge is perfect. Here's my little overlap. And then for the second piece, we are going to do the same thing for the bottom. And I'm going to have my overlap be opposite on the bottom than the top. So it came this way on the top. I'm going to want the bottom one to go this way. So I'm going to put down this side first. And my bottom lined up beautifully as well, so I am absolutely good there. I'm going to go ahead and tape this off quick. So I decided I want to bring in some color on this one. So this is the glitter I went with. I feel like it kind of matches this book and some of the green. This one is Freshwater Spring. I'm going to apply it to the diamond with Mod Podge and the base. But I'm going to tint it. Um, I'm actually going to use Caribbean Blue. It's not going to be an exact match. But. I do want somewhat of a base color, and I think I'm actually going to add a tiny bit of limey, limeade green, just to bring the blue down a little bit. What's the worst that can happen, right? Okay. I'm going to get my Mod Podge. And I don't need a ton. Okay. 
Well, that's very limey. But it'll be okay, I promise. It's very thin. And I have a little more Mod Podge to that. I'm going to paint a coat of this on. Okay, so I want better coverage than this because it's over the bare stainless. So I'm going to let this dry super quick. And then I will be back for another coat and the glitter. Okay, so this is pretty dry now, so I should be good to go. And I don't remember if I've used this one or not. Whoa. I have. So I got really nice coverage on the top where I went back over again, but the bottom, I clearly did not do the best job. So I'm going to immediately come back in and just recoat the bottom. much much better so I'm actually thrilled with this coverage I think this color is gonna look great underneath this a decal this is a butterfly lane designs um, VC decal versatile cast um, so this dot denotes it means it is good over all colors because it's printed with that white base then the color so it will show up over that green because that is where it's going to go. So I'm going to clean this up and then we're going to peel the tape. And sometimes this happens. Your glitter doesn't want to go back in the jar. Beautiful. So this was Freshwater Spring. It's a Basics remix from It's Pretty Personal. I think that came in a subscription box or something. So I'm immediately going to peel my tape. Okay, so I do have a little bit of color bleed, but we're going to pinstripe this, so it's going to be absolutely fine. Um, we are going to seal this glitter before, before we epoxy, um, and I'm going to seal it with just regular polycrylic. Um, I've done it before. It's not something I normally do. Um... And I don't know that I've done it on this channel or not. Um, but using polycrylic is very similar to using the CC DIY Quick Coat. I'm just wiping the excess glitter off. A lot of the time I don't bother to seal like the other one I didn't seal because of some of the color traveled I didn't mind because it was in the same color range but because this is such a contrast to this I want this to stay in place so I'm going to let this dry very very thoroughly I'm going to get some of my polycrylic in a smaller bottle 
because I only have a big squeeze bottle. Actually, I do have a small bottle of polycrylic, so I will just add to this one. And when the Mod Podge is dry, I will come back. I will show you how I seal with this, and then we'll move on. So real quick, I'm just going to show this. You don't want to shake up your polycrylic. You can like gently swirl it, but don't shake it because you will get bubbles. Let's see if I can get the lid off of this. Um, this particular one is the Minwax Clear Satin. I prefer Minwax. It's getting harder to find. Um, I think the only place near me that carries this one is maybe Walmart at this point. And polycrylic does tend to rust in the can sometimes. It drives me nuts, but every can I've ever had of it has done that. So I do have a small funnel for this purpose specifically, but not seeing it. So what I'm going to do, and actually because my can is rusting, I would rather do it this way anyways, is I'm just going to pour some in a small cup. And then use that to transfer. There. So. That's it. That's what I'm going to use to coat with. When the tumbler is dry and ready. Okay, so I'm ready to get the polycrylic on here. So, I have my brush. I'm going to try and stay pretty close to the edge to start. I'm going to try not to move the glitter too much, but it is going to pick some up. Definitely keep an eye out for drips. You do not want that because it will pick up glitter and run it. So I do see a little thin spot in my glitter here, so I'm just going to sprinkle a tiny bit on, pull one drop of my poly. And just kind of dab it in should hold it back in place. I feel like it's a little thin down here as well.
I'm going to let this sit and dry. It should not take that long. Polyacrylic will dry fairly quick in the open air like this. Okay, so it is time to get the decal on and the pinstriping on on this one. So I'm going to use the three millimeter kind of champagne gold out of this box from Amazon. 12 colors, three sizes each. There really is no true, true starting point on this for the bottom. So that is it for the pinstriping on this. I'm just going to keep it relatively simple. I'm going to put this top side up and I'm going to trim down my decal. So this worked because this one is designated a VC decal, which means it will show up over um, colors. And you can even pick out the green leaves over the green glitter. So there you go. Uh, I'm going to get this over and get epoxy on it, but I'm curious if you liked this style with these two pieces of vinyl better or yesterday's envelope fold style with the other two pieces of the same vinyl. Okay, time to get epoxy on this one. So there we go for this one, the second one from this Dahlia Vinyl. I'll bring it up so you can see it. There's that overlap. And I'm all booked. Really, really cute decal. Try not to touch the cord from this turner to the other turner. And the bottom is just that green glitter. So that is it for this one. I appreciate you watching. Um, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, even just an emoji. Um, it really helps me out. And I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to let, let me know what you liked better, yesterday's or today's. Thanks.